Hello everyone and welcome to the parity tutorial. Now in this tutorial I'm going to show you two parity algorithms that are necessary to solve this queue. Um, so there are two of them and one is much easier than the other and I call one of them is the corner parity and the other one is the edge parity. So I'm going to demonstrate them now. So here is the corner parity when one of our single corners is twisted, which is impossible on a 3x3. Three three. It's just like corner twisting. But on this puzzle, it's possible, and it's quite an easy parity to solve. So first, what I want you to do is just turn this over here, and then you look at this small edge. As you can see, I hope, is a gray and red one. Now this gray and red, we need to match it up with its corner, which is over here because we turned it over to here. So we just turn the corner that you can see when we bring it back, it will match up. So let's bring it back. And then you see we have left one edge here. You just turn this corner in its position when it matches. This is the gray and green. So we just turn the big corner here you see gray and green, put it over here, and then you see this is the unwanted edge over here. It's a red and yellow one. We just put it in here, and you can see it fits. It fits, and we just turn back. Then everything will be solved. You just need to turn this one big corner back. So at some point in time when you are reducing this cube into a 3x3, three three, you'll find out maybe that you have two of these small edge pieces swapped and that's impossible to solve with just simple moves and you can only solve if they were free and so in order to solve this we need to first swap these small center pieces of these edges and that's the tricky part then we just solve intuitively these um, triangular pieces just as I showed in the previous tutorial now I'm in order to solve these first we need to carry out the the center swapping algorithm just once that means doing the same move five times and I taught it in the previous tutorial I'm going to show it now and so as you remember we just turn this up turn this down turn this down turn this up and do that five times two three four Five. Okay, now you'll see that one of your uh, center pieces are is in the correct place. Uh, don't tell by these triangular pieces; just tell by the corner that it is attached to. So now we are going to do a trick, and I forgot to mention that you need uh, one of these center pieces you see here that is the same color as this one. So if I was doing this algorithm here and this was gray, then I'll need a gray one here. If it was red, I'll need a red one here. Okay, basically that's that, so don't forget that. And then you turn this like that, so this is in alignment, and you turn this just like that. So now we turn this layer over here and then turn this back. So now you can see that we have this gray piece, I don't know if, here you go, and this piece and this piece. So both uh, this piece and this piece are same. So we can swap them, it doesn't matter. So we carry out again that algorithm once, which means five times. Sorry if you are not seeing this in the camera. And oh, one more time, there we go. So you can see that it is in its correct spot. So now we just reverse all of those set of moves we just did. We just move this back into alignment. You can see that this will go together with this. And then turn all this layer back. Turn this corner that we used back and you see it's all solved. And you can turn that back. Now you see that we have successfully swapped this piece and this piece. So now we just solve these triangular pieces 
intuitively, like I taught you, I'm going to demonstrate that, but you don't have to. So first of all, let's put it in alignment and do that algorithm that swaps this, this, and this, which goes like this. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five unsolved triangular pieces. We need to solve two. Here we go, like that, and then like that, yeah. I'm sorry if you are, uh, those who want to solve the parity are confused. So you really should watch that video where I explained how to solve these triangular pieces. Okay, now you see we have only three, which is a good sign because you can, we can do one cycle to solve all of them. Actually, we need to do two of them. Again, the same algorithm. And again. So as you see, we have successfully swapped these two small edges. That's how you solve the edge parity. Now, thank you for watching and you should hopefully solve this puzzle. And if you, again, are confused about the triangle thing, go ahead and look up the video where I explain how to solve them.